conducted by astronomers at Cornell University and published in the journal Nature in June 2021, the study at the heart of today's video is titled, Past, Present, and Future Stars That Can See Earth as a Transiting Exoplanet. And it may yet go down as a key moment in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. In short, the study pinpoints 29 potentially habitable exoplanets that might be, or have been, observing Earth from afar. So let's scale that back. An exoplanet is a planet that science has detected and confirmed from outside our solar system. They're extremely difficult to spot, which is why the number of them is so low compared to the estimated number of potentially habitable worlds in just the Milky Way. There could be as many as 300 million habitable worlds in our galaxy. But as of 2021, there are less than 5,000 confirmed exoplanets. This study proposes that at least 29 of those are both potentially habitable and within range to be watching over us. To be potentially habitable, the planet must be within the habitable zone of its star and rocky like Earth is. To be within range, it needs to be in what's known as Earth's transit zone, or the EZT. This means that they're in a position in space where it's possible to witness Earth transiting in front of the Sun, which would enable a hypothetical observer on that planet to detect us. The 2021 study found that more than 1,700 stars were in this position. But finally, the study sharpened its criteria by adding that any potentially habitable exoplanet within the EZT also needed to be potentially able to send and receive radio messages within a range of about 100 light years, i.e. within range of Earth's own radio history. And with that, we reached the magic number of 29. But still, how did we get there? Planetary transits are the most reliable way we currently have to find exoplanets. They're what many of our most cutting-edge telescopes are designed to spot when a passing object obscures the light from a distant star. And we can potentially yield a lot of information from a transit, including an exoplanet's size and how far away from its parent star it is. But there are also plenty of things we're not yet able to determine. For example, we don't yet have the telescopes powerful enough to actually see exoplanets as anything other than shadows and small dots, so we're still so far removed from them. We can't directly analyze to see whether there's plant life, liquid oceans, or even alien cities. We also can't yet accurately pinpoint the composition of an exoplanet's atmosphere to list the chemical elements and molecules that exist there. When the much-delayed James Webb Telescope finally launches, reportedly by the end of 2021, however, it will carry a near-infrared spectrograph, and we should then be in a better position to study the atmospheres of exoplanets. Similarly, the extremely large telescope in Chile, scheduled to begin operations in 2025, will be able to image exoplanets in more detail than ever before, capturing shots in more than 15 times better quality than those of the Hubble Space Telescope. But that's for the future, and this is now. And though we have a range of about 100 light years for the 29 planets highlighted by this study, some of them are significantly closer than that, including one orbiting a red dwarf named Ross 128 that sits only 11 light years away from us. It was also found that there are other planets that are just as close, but that aren't in a position to witness Earth's transits right now. The reasons for this differ, but it means that were we to conduct a similar study again in 10 years' time or 100, then that number 29 could well rise. Equally, it means that there could be close planets out there, potentially hosting alien life, that we haven't yet been able to see transit, and perhaps some that can see us, but we can't see them. And quickly, the vastness of space takes hold, because we're still only really contemplating this on a galactic scale within the Milky Way, and the Milky Way is just one of trillions of galaxies in the universe. So what can we do with this information? It's still extremely difficult to put it to use when it comes to communicating with other planets and potentially other life forms. If 29 or more planets could be watching Earth right now, they may have also tried to send us a message already, it just missed. Because that's not unlikely. Those alien planets are spinning around their stars at tens of thousands of miles an hour, while their star also travels through the Milky Way at a blistering speed, all while we're all way over here doing exactly the same thing. There's no doubt that our technology is improving, nor that their technology could already be better than ours. But clearly, landing communications exactly where they're supposed to go is no mean feat. Although really, that's one reason why this 2021 study is so important. Now that we've pinpointed 29 planets at least that are potentially habitable and potentially observing us, we can specifically study and target these 29 in the future. At present, space is still silent to us, but we're suddenly one step closer to opening up a genuine communication link. 
What's perhaps surprising, though, is that from another planet's point of view, Earth might not appear a dead cert to host life. We obviously know that there is life here, but say at least one of the 29 is host to intelligent beings also advanced enough to have studied and identified exoplanets. Is it possible they will have set their sights on another world that isn't Earth? By some estimates, for example, Earth only just makes it into our solar system's habitable zone, right on the inner edge. To a far-off onlooker, then, we might be deemed too close to the sun to be worth taking a risk on. Or they could have a completely different interpretation of what the habitable zone should be, based on the fact that they themselves perhaps live further away from the stars in their own systems, and so they would never even consider us as being of particular interest. Maybe Mars would be more their thing. And while we can be fairly certain that they won't find life on the red planet, perhaps they've been mistakenly beaming messages to our closest neighbor for years. Of course, there are other nearby worlds they could be looking at, too. We know that Venus isn't without signs of life, for example, even if it is almost certainly devoid of life itself. Or perhaps our hypothetical alien onlookers know that gas giants or their moons are actually a better bet for life to exist. And so they're more taken by Jupiter and Saturn. In the cases of Venus and Mars in particular, there's also the fact that most scientists agree that at one time during the lifetime of the solar system, both have been habitable. Were an alien race to be working from out-of-date information then, to the tune of billions of years, it would perhaps be understandable if they went and focused their attention elsewhere. Naturally, the other possibility is that at least one of the 29 planets suggested by the 2021 study is totally in the know and irrefutably certain that life on Earth does exist. In that case, they could well have their telescopes or telescope-like technologies trained on us right now, watching our every move. As it stands, we'll never know. But the fact that we do now have a handful of very specific exoplanets to target, ones that might be targeting us in return, still serves as a major step forward in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. On a cosmological scale, we're finally getting to know our neighbors. And we're getting closer and closer with every year to discovering the truth about nearby alien life. And that's why 29 alien planets might be watching Earth 